Hi there, this is Abhishek and in this video I will talk about how you can create quick data sets in R. So uh, the most easiest way is to use the combine command and store the result in an object. So for example, if we have, we want to create some kind of a data set, let's say data set 1 and we want to store a couple of numeric values then we will use this command c and then open parenthesis and close parenthesis this is basically a combined command and let's say we want to store some very quickly five numbers into this so once we do that now we have the quick data set available to us now this this will now help us doing uh, some kind of mathematical operations that we want to perform uh, for our program. So for example, let's say we want to get a sum of these numbers and we don't have to specify these numbers. We will just say data set 1 and the sum will be in front of us. And similar to sum, you can perform other operations also. So let's move on and create another data set to show you a couple of other things that we can do so let's create a data set again for five different numbers five six seven nine thirty fifteen so these are the five numbers uh, with which we are creating data set two and uh, Right, it is saying data set to not found because I have not assigned it with the right assignment operator. And now we will enter. Okay, so now I have data set one and data set two. If my both the data sets are having the identical numerical values, then I can perform operations on that. Let's say I want to say data set one plus data set two, then it has given me the addition so 3 plus 5 8 6 plus 5 11 so idea here is that uh, if you have multiple data sets having the same uh, variable names or column uh, or in this case the numerical values then you can do or you can perform mathematical operations on that apart from that uh, if there is a need that uh, you want to multiply uh, each number by a certain number let's say you want to multiply data set 1 uh, by 3 and you don't have to uh, you just you don't have to uh, do the same operation by uh, doing something like 3 into 3 or 5 into 3 and then storing the values again you can simply say data set 1 multiply 3 and will give you the result right in front of you. You can store this result into maybe a data set 3. So data set 3, data set 1 multiplied by 3. Now this data set 3 has a multiplication of 3 in data set 1 as a result. And if I want to print the result, here are my results. So in this way, you can create uh, one after another data sets uh, so if I tell you in real life how it happens is that uh, your data has to go through multiple iterations according to your business rules. Sometimes you have to uh, add certain things in your data sets, remove a couple of elements based on some restrictions and then you get a final data set. In a similar way, uh, these operations is basically to help you understand that how you can quickly perform some of the very very basic operations on your data sets. Now apart from storing the numerical values into uh, data sets or these uh, objects that we are creating, we can create uh, uh, characters uh, data sets also. So char data set and we are saying a b and C. It's just that we have to uh, surround A, B and C within single uh, double quotation or single quotation to make sure uh, that we want characters to be there in the object. 
So here it has given me some unexpected error because I have not given the combine command. Now I should work fine. So this can happen. So then you can quickly uh, just review your statement and identify uh, what you have missed because of which you are getting an error. So if I now want to print it, care data set A, B, and C. Now uh, suppose you want to create another data set that is a combination of uh, numeric and character value. Then what result you will get? Well, any idea? All right, let's go ahead and see what it is going to give. And let's create a data set for, and in this case, we are saying combine data set one and care data set. So data set one has numerical values, care data set has the character values. It has created data set four. Let's see what data set four contains. All right, so everything is now converted to a character. So the important learning is that if you are combining two data sets, one is having numerical value and another is having a uh, character values, then all the values in the resultant object will be character values. Now let's move on to understand another concept by which you can accept or collect the data or create the data set. Uh, so far we have used the combined command. Uh, now in this case we will use the scan command. So for that we will say data set 5 and we will say scan and close the small brackets and it will now ask uh, what do you want to give at number 1. Or what should be the first value let's say 12 what should be the second value let's say 34 third value 45 21 45 let's say we are done now if i enter again and enter again all right it has done so if i have to if i'm done with my data set then i have to just enter twice and it will uh, return the command prompt now if i need to print data set 5 it should have all these five values so scan is and another way by which you can read the data from directly from the command prompt. Now let's see whether you can read the character data also using the scan command. So data set 6 and we will say scan and hit. All right. Uh, so within the quotes, maybe single or uh, double, not an issue. And I will say A and then B. All right. So it is saying some error in scan file. Uh, scan except expected real caught something. So what this is basically saying that uh, you cannot directly enter the character values. You need to modify this command, the scan command. So what you need to do is data set six and scan and you will say what is equals to character ch character so after this you should be done but just a slight change that uh, you need to have this character within a single quotation to tell that this is a kind of input you will going to get all right now let's say you enter a b c d e f g h i all right, now this time it works perfectly fine. So data set six, I have these values. So this is how you can read the character values by slightly modifying what you are going to read. Apart from directly entering the numeric character values util by utilizing the scan command, you can also enter or utilize the clipboard to get the data within the R. So something like uh, you have the data within some spreadsheet from which you are copying the data on clipboard. And then if you are pasting here after entering this scan command and uh, pasting the data, then it R will going to read your data. 
So I am leaving up to you that uh, you go ahead and do this thing where you are entering the command dataset data set six and then or any data set and then putting a scan command. After you just put the scan command, it will wait for you to do the input. And for an input, you need to copy some data from uh, some spreadsheet file, uh, maybe numerical data for a safer site and uh, paste it over here to so that R can read it and see whether it works for you or not. Ideally, it should work. So after this, if you closely observe this error where it is showing you the all the different kind of parameters that scan command can take then you can see that it takes the file command also uh, or the file argument also where you can specify a file uh, which you want to read uh, within the R so in this case if you have a file uh, which you directly want to read you can utilize this option file to read it directly and if you want to know more about it you can always put question mark and say scan to take a help and enter it and here it gives you the entire information that uh, with the, some default syntax and then the detailed information about argument and here for the file argument the name of the file to read data values from so this will give you a very good idea about what are all the things that you can do with this so sep is basically to specify specifies separator uh, which is uh, there in your data say for example you are having a comma then you can specify separator is comma so similarly you have all those different things decimal scape and lines and all that which you can use very efficiently to read a complex data in your our program so I am uh, leaving all of these commands for you which that you can read and efficiently uh, utilize it with the help of the scan command to read the data so this is pretty much all I wanted to discuss in this video in the next video I will talk uh, more about uh, creating data sets with some other commands like uh, REPSEQ which is repetition or sequence and we will talk how you can create quick data sets by utilizing those so i'll meet you in the new video with those topics till then bye bye